What up, gang, and welcome back once more to I Like Watches in today's video. I've got a really cool watch to show you, actually. I think that is probably the best word to describe this watch. This micro brand based in Sydney, Australia. This isn't the first time you will have seen this watch, I don't think. This is, I think, their second or third production run of this watch, but it is their last production run before they move on and produce a new watch for next year, I believe. So yeah, if you are interested in, well, what can only be described as one of the coolest watches in the world, um, stick around, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this Gallo Novo. So before I explain why I think this is potentially the coolest watch in the world, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the brand because it's a relatively new micro brand. They've not produced many watches and so yeah, not many of you I don't think will be familiar with Gallo watches. This is in fact the second watch that has been produced by Zecca. Zecca is the founder and designer and he lives in Sydney, Australia. I'm very jealous. Love Australia. Love the Kyle and Jackie show. My favourite podcast in the world. I can't recommend it enough. Um, yeah, if you like smutty radio, yeah, definitely give it a listen. It's what I listen to when I'm taking shots of the watches, you know, my footage and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, I mute it before I then put it into my videos because... I'd get in a bit of trouble if I left the audio in, not just because of the potential copyright infringement, but yeah, the smut levels are off the charts. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. Anyway, back to the watch and primarily the brand. Yeah, Zecca Amendola is a watch enthusiast and in 2019 decided to start making watches. And um, yeah, this is the second watch that he has produced. He has funded his campaigns through Kickstarter and this watch has proven to be pretty popular and he's now done a number of production runs. And I think this is now the last one before he moves on to produce another watch next year. He's having 200 Gallo Novo watches made in this current production run. 100 of those watches will be available for immediate delivery and the remaining 100 will go out in June, I believe. The copper dial version has proven to be the most popular version, so he's producing more of those watches in this particular production run, but yeah, the enamel dial one is also very, very nice. And as I'm sure you already know, enamel dials, there's more to an enamel dial. Um, the process is more complex and generally um, enamel dialed watches cost a bit of a premium but it looks like the price for these two watches is the same it's 282 US dollars and you get three straps with it quite often you see one extra strap but yeah with these watches you're getting two extra straps it comes on a really really nice leather strap and I mean really nice super soft and malleable it just feels like it's ready to wear. Beautifully branded underneath as well, branded on the buckle. The buckle is, I don't know, it's a bit fancy, isn't it? But um, but yeah, the strap itself, lovely. Quick release spring bars, so no complaints there. There's also what feels like an FKM rubber strap. It's a very sort of heavy, dense rubber strap, but still quite soft and malleable. And then you've got this other strap, which is probably my least favorite of the three. Although um, I've been told that this is a sort of prototype and the full production straps, this third strap, will be better than this. But to be honest, the extra straps, they're just a bit of a bonus, aren't they? The focus should always be on the watch, the case, the dial, the movement, the build quality. So yeah, let's run through that. Now, why is this potentially the coolest watch in the world? Well, just look at it. The branding is really, really cool. I think he's nailed it. I like the name. I like the font used on the dial. It is quite sort of funky and retro. The colors on both watches are quite sort of pastely. They're not bright or in your face. I think the balance is, yeah, they're pretty good in terms of being colourful but not looking like a toy. I love the copper dial version. I can see why this has proven to be the most popular version. I like the fact that those sort of sections around the outside of the dial are completely filled in with sort of solid colours and they're not sort of intermittent. Nice contrasting hands as well. They're quite glossy. They're very dark. So yeah, they contrast well against the lighter background. There's a bit of a sparkle to the dial as well. I love the font used for Novo as well above the six. There is a little bit of loom BGW9. It's only on the hands, no loom on the dial. I think he's missed a trick there actually. I would have liked to have seen one of those rings around the outside of the dial 
Dial to be loomed. I think that would have made for a much more interesting loom display and would have made the watch easier to read, I think, in the dark. Decent specifications throughout, which I think you would expect for $282. It's not an all stainless steel sports watch. It comes with a leather, well, it comes with three straps, as I've already mentioned, and you tend to pay a bit of a premium for all stainless steel sports watches. So yeah, $282 for this watch, I think is a fair price. 316L stainless steel case, sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance, NH35 inside of this watch. Fairly simple case back, fairly simple crown. There's some specifications on the case back and a bit of branding. There's nothing on the crown. The case, it's a little bit familiar, isn't it? There are some similarities between this case and the case that James and I produced or designed for the academic j g watch, although, yeah, our Kickstarter failed miserably. So so hats off to Zeka for successfully funding his campaign or his build. It's an achievement in itself, isn't it, quite honestly? And um, there is going to be some new boxes supplied with these watches as well, which I don't have, unfortunately. I've got the old packaging, but I don't like to spend too much time um, talking about packaging, especially when I'm holding affordable watches like this, because, well, we want the money to go into the watch and I think it has done on this occasion because the specifications are decent. I think some people would have preferred to have seen maybe a different movement inside this watch. I know some people are tired of NH35 powered watches, but there's no denying these movements are still very, very popular, very reliable and yeah, cost effective, which means watches like this can be produced and sold for this sort of money. Build quality seems good, finishing seems nice, brushing, soft satin brushing, polishing seems nice. So yeah, the build quality does seem to be pretty good. And Zeka has emphasized to me that quality is really, really important to him and his brand. And he's visited the factories and done all that sort of stuff to ensure that the watches are made to a standard that, well, he's happy with. So if he's happy, I seem to be happy. It looks to be, yeah, pretty well made. Now, if you're interested in either of these watches, head over to the website. I'll put a link in my video description. It's not an affiliate link. It just takes you over to the website. You'll see that the watches are launching on the 13th of March and of course I've posted the video on the 13th of March to coincide with that I was happy to do that for Zeka so yeah if you're interested then they should be available to pre-order and as I've already mentioned the first 100 will be sent out almost immediately so if you miss out on the first 100 perhaps sign up to the newsletter and I'm sure Zeka will keep you informed right guys yeah I'm impressed I have to say very jealous He's had a couple of successful Kickstarter campaigns, something that I wasn't able to do with James. So yeah, absolutely 100%. I'm impressed. Very cool watch and I'm looking forward to seeing what else Zeka produces in the future. I don't think we're going to have to wait too long to start seeing some potential prototypes. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and then I'm sure you'll see more from this brand in the future on this channel. Right guys, as always, a massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Take care, look after yourselves. And you'll see me again very, very soon.